Let's look back at what has been an eventful three hours here at Monza. It began with this incident. Guy Smith brushing off the side of uh, Ezequiel Perez' compact Lamborghini. He got onto the grass, the Lamborghini spun, and with 40-plus cars bearing down on him, all manner broke out with cars in each other, cars in the barrier. The safety car was deployed, not surprisingly, but the net result was that with debris on the road, the race director elected to red flag the race, clear everything up, and we went racing again with the leading car being the Ferrari Bugal Molina and Guy Smith tucked up behind him. Bernard Dalhay second in the end in the AMCUP clash with the 77 Lamborghini. Adrian Amstutz down at the Parabolica as, Al as uh, Robert Renauer battled with the number eight Bentley of Vincent Abril early in the race. There was some great squabbling going on all the way up and down the order. One or two cars with a fair amount of damage as well, including the number 90 Mercedes, the car of uh, Michael Meadows that had had a clash early on. Number seven, Bentley, eventually was given a penalty for the incident that caused the red flag, and the car was brought into the pit lane and into retirement as the battles raged on in Pro-Am. The Porsche was up there to begin with, fighting, but it fell down. The order, Miguel Molina came in to give way to Victor Scheiter, and the squabbles in the Pro-Am category took up attention. 488 to Pierre Eret and Bruno Mastronardi was a comfortable AM-class leader, but eventually would retire with engine dramas, and that promoted the AF Corsa racing for Lebanon. The Lebanon is calling car to a class lead. James Collado was wriggling his way through traffic. Andy Suchek got himself up past Danny Junkadea. And then when Nicky Pola had a drama down at the first chicane and ran over the curb, that gave Suchek the chance to power past his fellow countrymen trying to follow suit. In the final stint, Johnny Adam was hustling down the class leading Ferrari, eventually being able to work away into contention and then into the class lead as off the road went the AF course of 53 Ferrari. Last pit stop cycle through for 63 to put Christian Engelhart behind the wheel. Matt Parry got a drive-through penalty for that move, but Johnny Adam was hustling on as he tried to get himself into the lead of Pro-Am. He had to fend off Combe Ledegar for a time. 75 Audi was looking as though it was on target for second spot, but a late race puncture put that out of the race. But there was still some great action going on all the way through to the end of the race. Alessandro Pierguidi got himself up past the 75 Audi, which had a tyre issue. This was Johnny Adams' move into the lead of Pro-Am. And not only did he win the class, Johnny also took the fastest lap of the race as well. It was a mighty effort. But a race win for Lamborghini. Christian Engelhart, Andrea Caldarelli and Mirko Bortolotti, the winners here at Monza. We'll see you at Silverstone, May 13, 14, from David Addison and John Watson. Bye-bye.